love gave his son Cause I have found this love And I believe in the sun Hi kids! I was just thinking about how you are the best. The B-E-S-T best. Best! Did I ever tell you that I was captain of my high school cheerleading squad? You would have been so great with that. Caroline, did you cheer? Because you have more pep than anyone I know. Um, I was very cheerful in high school. But my back handspring just didn't quite fit. Did I ever tell you about the time Barbara Jane MacGyver Reynolds tried to sabotage my cheer career? No, you didn't. Do tell. Well, Barbara Jane was on the squad and she was a little unique. She was second string and I don't know if she was a little jealous or something but it just felt like she was always watching. This one time, she even tripped me when I was walking up to give a speech at the pep rally. It was so embarrassing. Still have nightmares about that day. Yikes, that was not very nice. And then this other time when the cheer squad was having lunch together and Barbara took out the meat in my sandwich and replaced it with chewed up bubble gum. I mean, we knew it was her. Gum wrappers were like raining out of her backpack all day. That is disgusting. And sounds oddly delicious. And she also played a video of me singing at our school talent show. A moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. So I'm guessing you probably weren't in the school choir. So one day I caught her doing this really crazy and embarrassing dance in the locker room all by herself. No, I mean, it was really, really embarrassing. Part of me wanted to tell the other girls to watch because, I mean, she had embarrassed me so many times. But I knew they would probably laugh at her and I actually had compassion for her. So I didn't tell anyone and I just let her dance her little heart out. That is a very odd story. And it was really nice of you not to embarrass her after she embarrassed you so many times. And in like a really weird way, your story kind of reminds me of today's Bible story. What story in the Bible could my story possibly connect with? I mean, they didn't have bubblegum or cheerleaders in the Bible. Well, yeah, you're right about that. Okay, just give it a try. Watch our Bible story and see if you can find a connection. So you kids, you guys know what to do. Hit pause, watch our Bible story, and then come on back because there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, I can kind of see it now. Barbara Jean was jealous of me, just like Saul was jealous of David. Yes, Saul was super jealous of David, which is kind of weird because David did a lot for Saul. Remember, he defeated Goliath, and then he fought tons of battles for him. Saul even let David marry one of his daughters, but instead of being proud of David, he was super jealous. David was in exile in the wilderness while he ran away and hid from Saul. But he wasn't alone because 400 of his men stayed with him. And David had the perfect opportunity to kill Saul when Saul came into the cave to relieve himself. Uh, wait, did you just say relieving himself? What? Yes, he was going potty. <laughs> and 
David could have taken this ill-timed potty break to get rid of his enemy once and for all and take the throne. I mean, he knew he was going to be king one day anyway. Right. David showed mercy on Saul, even though Saul hated his guts. Instead, David trusted God. He knew his promises would come true in his timing. So he did not want to sin and kill Saul. And this is where it reminds me of your weird cheer story. I mean, you could have embarrassed Barbara Jean MacGyver Reynolds, your friend. You could have embarrassed her. I mean, she embarrassed you so many times. But you chose to show mercy on her and compassion. And that was super cool of you, Christy. You can probably tell that her cheer story was made up. We wanted to make you laugh and teach you that we all need to be showing mercy to the people in our own lives every day. Showing mercy means having compassion and forgiving others instead of punishing them for the things that they have done. Saul deserved to be punished for the things he had done to David, but David had mercy on him instead. David trusted God's plan and showed mercy. In David's story, it points us to Jesus, who also trusted his father's plan. And he actually died on the cross so that his enemies could experience forgiveness and be a part of God's family. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for showing mercy on us and for forgiving us of our sins. Dear Lord, we just pray that you would help us to show mercy on the people around us and to forgive them when they sin against us. Help us to be more like you every day. We love you, God. Amen. God has shown great mercy on us and wants us to show mercy on those around us. Also, David wrote Psalms while Saul was pursuing him in the wilderness. Psalms are like songs. I will sing one for you right now. Oh, sorry, Chrissy. Looks like we're out of time here on the watch. We better go. See you, kids. Oh, and just for the record, I thought Miss Barbara Jean MacGyver Reynolds had some pretty sweet dance moves. I say so myself. <laughs>